Welcome back. In this video I'm going to solve some area and volume problems to demonstrate the use of the A, B, and the K scales. Um, let's first look at the A and the B scale which are the same. Um, you'll see that the A scale goes from 1 to 10 and then from 10 to 100. Um, I brought a different slide rule than what I had before, um, which this is actually a more standard uh, slide rule. Uh, so you, you can see actually the 1 to the 10 on the A or the B scale is just a compressed copy of the C or D scale. Okay? Uh, and then it's repeated. So imagine these numbers uh, on some slide rolls you'll, you'll just see 2, 3, 4, 5 instead of these numbers with two digits. Um, the K scale actually is, is the same thing except repeated three times. So it goes 1 to 10, 10 to 100, 100 to 1000. Okay? And the A scale, with respect to the D scale, represents the square of the number on the D scale. And the K scale, with respect to the D scale, represents the cube. So A or B for squares and K for cubes. Uh, so for example, if I set uh, 2 on the D scale, then on the A or the B scale if it's aligned, but just the A scale if it's not uh, closed, I read 4. And then on the K scale, I should be reading 8 for 2 cubed. Okay. Um, if I go to something like 3, then I'm reading 9 on the square scale A, and on the K scale I'm reading 27. Okay. Um, now, since they're just small copies of the C scale, you can use the A and the B scale for multiplying and dividing in the same method as the first video uh, from this series. Um, that's another trick. So. A and B can multiply and divide in the same way as C and D uh, can multiply and divide. Okay, so let's use that, uh, the combination of those two ideas to compute the area of Bob's pool. Bob's pool has a radius of 9.1 feet, sorry, mislabeled here, 9.1 feet. Uh, what is its area? Well, I know area is pi r squared for a circle. Um, and so I need to find 9.1 squared and then multiply by pi following the order of operations. Uh, so, to find 9.1 squared, I could find 9.1 on the D scale. Okay, hard to get this whole slide roll on the video, but I found 9.1 on the D scale. Then you can see the uh, A scale at the top is reading a little over 81. We know 9 squared would be 81. Um, it's not too important exactly what it's reading because I'm going to take that result which is on the A scale and immediately multiply it by pi. So I'll use the method from the first video where I align the index, okay, and then once I've aligned the index to multiply by pi, I go out to pi. Now you see pi is marked on the B scale, okay, so I've aligned the index with the number, uh, and then I go out to pi using A and B instead of C and D. Then the result is reading on the A scale, um, looks like 2526, and the proper order of magnitude here would be 260 because it's pi times about 180, um, and this is square feet. Okay, so I use a combination of the idea that 9.1 squared was on the A scale, and then I multiplied with A and B the same way you could multiply with C and D by aligning the index and going out to the second number. Okay, now Let's say Bob owns a ranch which has area 450 square kilometers. What is the width? Okay, so essentially what I need to compute here is just a square root of 450. Okay. Um, now, to compute a square root, um, all you need to do is go from A back to D. Just do it in reverse. Uh, the problem, though, is 450. Is that here at 4.5? Or is it here, where this slide rule says 45, and some will just say 4.5 again? Um, you'll get two different answers on the D scale. Which one is correct? Well, it turns out, um, when you want to use the A scale, uh, for numbers with one digit, you should use this first half. For two digits, you should use the second half. For three digits, use the first half again, for four digits, the second half again, and you alternate like this. So one digit, two digits, three digits, four digits, five digits, six digits, and so on. 
Um, so, okay, well I have three digits, so one, two, three, so I should be using this side, and then finding the square root here down on the D scale, um, I read about 21.2. Kilometers. Okay, and if you imagine I square 20, that's about 400. Sounds uh, right. It's always good to do a sanity check. Okay, well, the last problem Bob lives in a cubic house. So it's a house the shape of a cube. Um, if one side measures 36 feet, what is the volume of his cube house? Uh, this is, I changed the numbers here uh, 36 feet. Okay, well, uh, I can. I'm going to cube, so all I need to do is find 36 on the D scale and then read the results on the K scale. And here I see about four, six and a half. So volume here is just 36 cubed. And this is about four, six and a half. This is going to be feet squared, or sorry, feet cubed, but I need the correct order of magnitude. Um, the K scale is a lot like the A or the B scale in that it has three parts and you need to know the correct part depending on the number of digits of your number. So for numbers with one digit, you should be here, two digits here, three digits here, four digits here, five digits here, six digits here, seven digits here, and so on. Okay, so how many digits does this number have? Well, it's clearly not uh, one, two digits being the square of 36. So let's see, three digits, four digits, must be five digits. Okay, so the correct order of magnitude for this number uh, is having five digits, um, and Bob's house has 46,500 cubic feet of volume. Okay, hope you enjoyed this, and good luck.